Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And it's Wednesday, which means it's Epic Comic Book Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I'll talk about a certain comic book graphic novel or comic book subject. Steve Donahue on his channel will talk about the same comic book graphic novel or comic book subject. It is our world's finest team-up that we do once a week. And this week's a good one. Because this week, we're talking about The Rocketeer. The Rocketeer, one of my favorite comics of all time, The Rocketeer, by Dave Stevens. This is The Rocketeer Deluxe Edition. This is the complete adventures of The Rocketeer, which are two adventures, because Dave Stevens basically have, have two graphic novels that he created about The Rocketeer. They were both published serially, and they pay homage to the great old adventure serials from the movies. So that is what this is all about, basically, The Rocketeer. And you probably remember the film from 1991, which was actually a pretty good movie. I like that movie. So great comic book and a good movie. So what's this all about? So let's open it up because this is the deluxe edition this one came out last October although it was published before that in a different edition I think but this is the newer one and take the slipcase off you've got this wonderful cover by Dave Stevens Dave Stevens what a brilliant artist he was just did beautiful work and the, the work in this comic is just gorgeous the like I said, this is two graphic novels, basically. There's the first Rocketeer Adventure, which I think is probably pretty perfect for what it is. And then there's the sequel, which, like many sequels, is not nearly as good as the first adventure. But that's okay. It was still a beautiful piece of, of art, the sequel. Even though Dave Stevens didn't do all of the artwork in it. Michael Kaluta helped a lot in part two, and so did Arthur Adams, I believe. So he got some assists. And the reason is, is that, well, there's a couple reasons. And one is that Dave Stevens tended to be really, really, really slow. And also, comic book composition wasn't always his strong point. Although he does a beautiful job in this book. Great end papers there with all that great art. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Cliff Secord is the Rocketeer. Cliff Secord makes many, many bad decisions in these adventures. His bad decisions fuel these adventures, actually. So, yeah, let's get to the story. This is the first part, and a multi-part story where pilot Cliff Secord, who works at the air show or the air circus, and they stumble upon a rocket pack, a rocket pack, a jet pack that you can strap to your back and you could fly around. And so it was stolen by these thieves and they stash it in Cliff's plane. And instead of just giving the thing to the authorities, Cliff decides, hey, I'll use this thing to fly around, and it'll be a great thing for the show. And so that's what, he, that's what they do. They just decide to borrow the pack for a while before they report it. Stolen, I guess. And Cliff's buddy, PV builds him a helmet, and away he goes. And so the Rocketeer flies into action with his stolen jetpack and this is the first time he ever flies and he goes and rescues a friend of his who's about to crash his plane because he's flying drunk it's awesome and so you can see just how gorgeous this artwork is and this first adventure for what it is and it's basically like i said it's based on the old adventure serials and it does a great job of kind of bringing the spirit of that into a comic book story. It's 
fantastic. It's just beautiful. Every page of this is gorgeous. And uh, there's Cliff's girlfriend, who is modeled after Betty Page, the famous 1950s model, Betty Page. And Dave Stevens actually had to find Betty Page because she wasn't around at this time. No one knew where she was. And so Dave Stevens tracked her down and actually paid her for her likeness. After this comic came out, Betty Page actually became pretty popular and everybody started using her image for posters and everything else. And Dave Stevens did what he could to make sure that she got paid, which I'm sure she wasn't always, but they became pretty good friends, Betty Page and Dave Stevens. And he does a wonderful job illustrating her in this comic. It's just... It's just fantastic. Let's see. And one of the things that happened, this is a kidnapping, of course. Always got to have a kidnapping in these old adventure serials. And one of the things that ends up happening is we get some uncredited guest stars. Uh, Doc Savage actually shows up, the pulp adventure hero, hero Doc Savage. And two, two of his agents show up in this story. So if you, if you know about Pulp Fiction, or if you're a fan of the old Pulps, that's extra fun to have Doc Savage and his agents show up. Doc Savage, actually the inventor of the Rocket Pack. And of course, there's this image, which is probably the one you've seen, if you've seen any and haven't read the book. Uh, that is probably Dave Stevens' most popular and reproduced image. I can't imagine why, but yeah. So yeah, and there's there's Doc Savage there. Like I said, uncredited, but that's clearly supposed to be Doc Savage. Just such a gorgeous, gorgeous work. I mean, just look at that. That's fantastic. So the first adventure of the Rocketeer, like I said, is probably, if you read it as a single graphic novel, as a single adventure, it's just fantastic. And that's actually how I read it for the first time. I wasn't, I didn't have the initial issues of, I think it was Pacific Comics Presents or something like that. Uh, I didn't have the original issues of the first run of The Rocketeer. So I didn't read it until it was all collected as a graphic novel. And it's just beautiful. Uh, at the end, Cliff Secord's off to, to have more adventures. And we get some covers of the original publications and some advertisements. This deluxe edition is really beautiful. I mean, just look at that. It really reproduces this artwork just so well. It's fantastic. And so then we get to the second adventure. And in the second adventure, we had Doc Savage in the first one. And this guy is clearly the shadow. So the shadow is in the second adventure of the Rocketeer. And like I said, the second adventure is entertaining. It's good. The artwork is beautiful. It's not quite as good as the first one. Uh, I don't think it really, I don't think it captures things as consistently across the board. It doesn't have the excitement, I think, as the first one. Uh, and the story isn't, it, I don't think it just works quite as well. Again, the artwork is beautiful. And so it's worth it just for that. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous, fantastic work. But like I said, he does get help in the second one. Uh, and you see that more towards the end. Uh, Mike Kaluta did some of the artwork. He did some of the artwork in, on this page, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see if I could, yeah. And that's Arthur Adams right there. That's, and I think the inks were done by Dave Stevens, I'm pretty sure. So 
they weren't credited at the time, I don't believe, but they did give him a pretty big assist uh, with these pages. And so you get the first two adventures, and then half of this book, almost half of it, is extras. You get scripts and just all kinds of extras. I mean, original uh, thumbnails and artwork and rough drafts. Um, just so much stuff. And if you're a Rocketeer fan like I am, it's just, this is gold. <laughs> it's fantastic. A lot of stuff that just hasn't been reprinted in other places. And so that's always nice. Some of the original covers from uh, Pacific Presents. And of course, yeah, that's a good one. This guy, he was an artistic genius. I kind of like Dave Stevens' work. And uh, yeah, I mean, just so much cool stuff there. The, Kind of the roughs right there, the rough layouts. Cool stuff. A lot of these fold out pages. It's beautiful. And at the end, we get a lot of the posters and the covers that he did. And this is a cool part because this will show you some, the shaded areas there are the parts that other artists did in the second Rocketeer graphic novel. And so some of Art Adams and Michael Kaluta's work. And then Dave Stevens would do some of it. Like on this one, he did Cliff's faces up there and then he did the stuff at the bottom. So they kind of, they work together. And so you have some pages like this that have a mix of the artists. It's interesting. And this was all to get it done on time, I believe. Because Dave Stewart, or Dave Stevens, excuse me, just couldn't do it quickly enough, I guess. Needed the help. Look at that. Fantastic. Unfortunately, there never was a third story. Uh, he passed away much too young, Dave Stevens. Uh, it's really unfortunate and then this is some of the this is a poster that he did when the film came out in 1991 so all kinds of cool cool stuff in this book i highly 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 recommend it just a brilliant adventure comic book just two adventures of the Rocketeer. There, there have been other Rocketeer comic books done by other people in the years since then, but the original Dave Stevens stuff, he just did two really entertaining graphic novels. And the first one is, like I said, particularly good. He wasn't, you know, he didn't go into this thing to make a masterpiece, but the first one kind of was in a way for what it was, because it, it just did what it was trying to do just so perfectly. And it was gorgeous. So, yeah. The Rocketeer. Check it out if you've never read it before. It's amazing. Okay, guys. I guess that's all I have to say. I will catch you next time.